guys welcome to my new channel um guys i don't even know where to start honestly i've been procrastinating um about doing this video i'm like where do i even start so today is on friday i just decided you know what let me just start and then i'll figure everything out from there so my name is stacy for those who are wondering what exactly is she talking about um i did have a channel that had like 7.6k subscribers and youtube decided to terminate it because of copyright strike yes that happened i'm still in disbelief i'm like yo i can't believe like the channel was taken down because of a copyright strike you know i'm one of those people who always follows the rules but somehow i really don't know what happened i really do not know okay i do know what happened but i'm like i'm the last person i expected that to happen to and i'm like you know what it's fine sometimes life uh, just i don't know throws challenges at you to just see how you're going to handle it so yes my channel was brought down with 7.6k subscribers so if you're coming across this video for the first time ama you're from my old channel and you see this face please subscribe down below i kind of wanted to start uploading my videos once i got to 300 subscribers but i have noticed that that is actually quite hard if you're not um, posting any content so we just uh, will start i will start posting content with those 150 subscribers and then we just grow our channel from there hey, i'm getting tired let me set you guys up so that we can properly talk so that i can tell you like exactly what happened why did i get a copyright strike and a lot more so yeah let's do that um all right i feel like this is so much better i've actually set you up huh, on my window i hope you won't like hear the noises from outside so yeah this is actually so much better okay i hope it's better um yeah i kind of wanted to like give you a backstory of what happened to my channel so like i've mentioned i had like 7.6k subscribers and a guy from instagram reported that i was using his materials to drive traffic to my channel which caused a copyright strike it's different from a copyright claim because i realized when i was telling people like what exactly happened a lot of guys were like no but a copyright claim is not that serious and i'm like no it's a copyright strike literally somebody sat down and wrote to youtube to complain that i was using his material from instagram so what happens when youtube receives such a claim they investigate and if the person who's reporting you has evidence that the material actually uh, belongs to them then you receive a copyright um strike so after you receive a copyright strike you're given a warning for three months so basically you cannot upload anything for three months until the copyright strike expires so this guy called noel he's called noel like i from now Onwards, I just hate anyone who has such a name. But there, guys, don't even ask me why my TV is down there. I'm still planning to mount it. Oh, yeah, if you're from my old channel, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, anyway, let me finish this story before I get distracted. You see, I get distracted real, real quick. So, this guy called Noel did not report me only one time. He reported me four times, guys. Four freaking times. And I'll insert the pictures that I used. Oh, wait no 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 actually if i insert the pictures maybe he can even copyright this video as well because now i don't want i don't want to deal with such things in this new channel so maybe i'll not even show you the pictures but yeah he reported me four times and i got four copyright strikes four guys not even one not even two remember if you get one you're banned on youtube for three months if you get two that's the second warning another three months now if you get three your channel gets terminated now this noel reported me four good times okay yeah i agree that i had used two of these pictures it was a plant and some two stools and um, i had used them like in my four thumbnails but guys like can't you even just talk to me so now i received an email on tuesday last week i even remember that i had woken up 
like very early because i wanted to post a new video um yeah it was actually a morning routine okay i was so excited like i was so excited about how that video came out so i woke up really early like i was editing because i wanted it to go up that tuesday so at around 11 i received an email from youtube telling me that i can actually insert that here telling me that my channel was going to be deactivated within seven days guys i started panicking i started panicking and i'm like seven what what have i done somebody has hacked that's what, that was my initial uh, thought i thought oh somebody has hacked my channel and then i received another um, email from youtube they told me that this no they gave me the email of the person who had reported me noel something 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 i don't even remember the email guys at that point i was crying guys that is how i actually realized that i do really love creating content i really genuinely love creating content here okay so they sent an email with the, the email of the guy who reported me and at that time i was crying i was not even thinking straight i just started crying whoever said crying doesn't help it helps it really does because i cried i cried i was not hey i was even at my friend's place and he was like i don't even know how i'm going to help you at this point and i'm like no just leave me let me just cry <laughs> and then we'll we'll figure things out once like i've finished crying so the following day i i was okay and i was feeling like so much better at that point i was like you know what even if i don't get the channel back i'll just start over but of course that was like the last last result like if we don't schizana with this noel guy then i'll just start another channel so the so youtube after the sending me the second email they gave me two options one is either you retract the complaint like you just uh write to youtube and say that the complaint is false which if it's true it's false then you're going to get your channel back but if it's a lie that you're lying to them then it can even like cause like you can even be arrested or something it was really 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 serious so the other option was to talk to noel like mskizane no omtu mwenyame complain that you're using his materials that was obviously the only thing i could do and he is a kenyan so i'm like ah uni mkenya mwanzangu so i i, I bet tutaskizana and he is a guy to top it off so i'm like ah guys are always nice like when it comes to such things so i i'm pretty sure tutaskizana so nika email noel nika mza, hey i've gotten a copyright strike what is happening <sighs> hey the first email was like um this is a copyright ignorance so hey apo venye niliske ignorance i was like hey okay this guy is actually rude at a copyright ignorance um i tried dming you uh, nine months ago to stop using my material you didn't hear you continued using the material in all honesty i didn't see that dm please tell me why are you talking to me through instagram like i literally have my email address hapo chini kwa description box if you are genuinely wanted to reach out to me i say ungeni email plus email emails are so much more official utani dm aje kuniambia such a thing you know so all in all i missed that dm of his and so on his side he assumed that he may ignore Hey, hey so i can remember oh copyright uh, ignorance i dm'd you nine months ago you didn't nothing you did you didn't do anything you continued using my material and I'm, i told him okay i'm really sorry i didn't see that dm i can remember it's not my fault i'm actually in the office this is through emails guys i'm actually in the office just call me in the evening we'll sort it out sorry and i will sort it out me i was thinking ah, okay this guy i can never bring this box to at all your complaint so i emailed him in the actually i called him i actually called him in the evening guys at this point now i was starting to feel emotional starting to i had started crying you know i don't know like crying oh my god i don't even want to cry i don't want to cry right now <clears throat> so at that point i had like started crying oh my goodness i cannot cry i cannot cry giving out this story <laughs> okay we are good so <clears throat> No, I've stopped crying. <laughs> okay, so at that point when I I called him I was crying and I was like, "Oh my god, you know, I actually told him that YouTube was my livelihood." Of course I'm lying, guys. I don't I don't it's not my only it's not my livelihood. Like I just I was just trying to not just soften his heart. 
eh akaniambia okay i hear you so now what you're going to do you're just going to wait uh tomorrow for an email somebody will contact you so now at this point i'm like sasa what is wrong with this guy who is this person who is supposed to contact me me yeah, just at this point i was just getting tired because i'm okay you know what so let me wait so the following morning i got an email from his lawyer noel went ahead and hired a whole freaking lawyer like please tell me what what is the lawyer for see it to make attack uskizana why are you hiring a whole lawyer noel <laughs> hey anyway so now the lawyer is like uh copyright infringement so we hear by like some official official um statements and then we we have now we don't want you to use our material anymore from this moment you also need to apologize then i'm like okay okay so i can do all that i can do all that at this point the videos that that guy had complained about zishatolewa na youtube zimedeletiwa so i'm like okay okay so and then hapo chini hapo chini he's like we hereby require you to pay us 26 kenyan shillings 26000 kenyan shillings and i love who can appear like kcb number it look like kcb am an equity and a till number of of where i'm going to pay 26000 <laughs> and i'm like oh, what noel we were doing so well what happened what happened at what point did you decide that i needed you needed me to pay you 26000 because of two pictures two pictures hey hey guys me i didn't even know copyright strikes were that serious but then maybe you can all learn from this story please don't use anybody's material on the internet eh hey, 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 people are vicious people are vicious so me was like ah no 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 there is no way in hell i'm paying you 26000 kenya shit no so i wrote an email to the lawyer and I was like this is clearly extortion like how exactly do you th- how much do you think i earn from that channel honestly for me to pay you 26000 kenyan shillings hey i told so now i wrote an email back to the lawyer and i told him um, please don't expect any money from me i'm not going to pay you a dime because this is clearly extortion so i never got um any response from the lawyer and now i just waited for the 7 days zishe so that my channel can be terminated and yeah guys that's what happened and honestly 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 yes i have agreed that nearly to me material ya huyu mtu i used his two pictures but how cruel can you be like honestly how cruel can you be to ask nani january kwanza na venye jua imewaka and then you ask me for 26000 and i have a feeling this guy th- that's what he does like that's what he does ha huh? 20 that is that how he earns a living hey people can be cruel out here and he is a man so me i did not pay the 26000 and uh, yeah my channel was deactivated I actually wrote to youtube begging them to not uh, deactivate it and they told me the only way they can um the only way i can solve that problem is talking to no oh so, yeah he said the only now youtube told me the only way i can solve that problem is me talking to noel no that guy munyata to skizani na ye so just like that my channel will end i go here 7.6 okay subscribers so that's what happened guys i know i'm not the best storyteller but i felt like this thing i had to tell people i just needed to get it out of my chest so yeah that's exactly what happened and now we have a new channel i just wanted to create this video my first video so that now we can continue like creating content because i have a lot a lot of content like i've said i even had like one video that i needed to upload like before i got the email and then they told me now you're not even supposed to upload any videos before until the matter is resolved so I've just been having content and not uploading. Mm. So yeah, that's what happened. Before my my channel was deactivated, I downloaded all my videos, not all. Um 
I think videos that I've created like last year, yes, I downloaded them. I downloaded them, and I'm thinking after this video, I'll just start uploading them, kidogo, 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 until I start like now uploading content on my new house, like content about my new house, because I feel like guys all those videos like a lot of energy went into it a lot of money a lot of time editing and i kind of feel bad just letting them go so i'll just be dropping those videos hapa uh pole pole too pole pole too they're not a lot actually they are around i had downloaded around 70 videos but i'm going to choose like the best ones since i use gonna a bit of a better quality if you're from my old channel you know that i was struggling a lot with my quality yeah the other house was a bit dark and the quality was not the best so yeah I, at least i'll choose some of the videos then it's gonna better quality and then i post them here and then yeah that will take like around two weeks i'll be posting like after two days two days two days two days and then once i'm done now we can start um i will start posting content about my new house mm. lesson Everything maybe happens for a, for a reason and never be afraid to start all over again. This is me starting all over again from scratch, you guys, from scratch. So if you're also like watching this video and you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, Ebu, please start tomorrow. Take the camera, take your phone, take the tripod, set it down and start filming. And let this be like motivation for you. If I can start all over again, you can also start. So yeah, let me introduce myself for the last time. My name is Stacy. I create lifestyle content, mostly lifestyle. Traveling a bit here and there, but it's mostly lifestyle. I live alone, as you can see. And I live in Nairobi and I love it here. So kindly subscribe down below let's grow this channel let's start our new journey let's create new memories and i'm excited guys i am genuinely so excited to be back on youtube you know by the way that email kind of says that once your channel is terminated you cannot be able to create a new channel and i was like uh -uh. so these guys are just going to throw me out of youtube just like that but it turns out you can actually create as many channels as you can so here we are i am so excited to just like you know start creating content and to see where this new journey will take us me and you guys because we are all in this together uh yeah so i don't know if i mentioned but today is on friday and i kind of want to chill i've actually been watching Ginny and georgia on youtube and uh, actually on youtube on netflix eh, and that series is looking nice i've kind of been addicted i'm so happy that i've done this video now there's no sit downs again we'll just start posting new content and we'll just continue growing so yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you've watched until this far i know i've been talking about a lot of nonsense i don't even know how this video will turn out but if you made it this far thank you so much for watching please kindly subscribe down below and 